Hey everybody, hope you're all well. Right, this video today is, um, it's not an educational one, it's just me showing you my next project. I am built in, building a delta loop uh, for 40 meters. It's going to be a monobander um, because I don't want um, any other, you know, frequencies off that antenna because I use the, the beam for those. And I've currently got a fair bit of noise on 40, so the delta loop is a little bit quieter. Um, so I'm going to keep it as a monobander. It is going to be a shortened version. It will be 8.5 meters um, per side in an equilateral triangle fed from the um, one of the corners. I'm not sure which just yet. Um, but to do that, uh, it will incorporate a coil and then obviously I've got to build a two to one at Ballon um, because the delta loop is between uh, well anywhere between 100 and 120 ohms so I'm going to put a two to one Ballon in there uh, in this box which I'm now making up I'm repurposing an old one actually just got to drill a few holes in here and add some more bits. Um, and using the 2 to 1 ballon, I'll bring it down to the 50 ohms. Um, but there you can see the windings for the different toroids. Now I'm going to be using a 400. Um, obviously because I've got that toroid anyway, so... And that's capable of taking a thousand watts. It'll be 14 turns on the primary and then seven on the secondary. Um, I think that diagram explains it more. If I get right in, you can see the turns. So basically, you've just got one end um, going to the hot straight to the delta loop off of the. Uh, uh, coil off the toroid, sorry, and then the other one um, is to the ground and to the other side of the delta loop. <coughs> so, this box um, that I'm repurposing, I need to um, add another section well, not a section, but another mounting bracket. Um, So it's going to go on this side, two holes to drill. Um, and that's the toroid that I will be using, which fits in quite nicely. And um, I'll let you know how I get on with it. And the next video will be me uh, winding the toroid um, and testing it to make sure that we've got the uh, 50 ohms. So. Um, yeah, and the reason I'm putting this up, obviously, one, the noise, hoping it's going to bring it down, but um, it is a good performing antenna, the Delta Loop, so we'll we'll see how it goes. So hopefully I'll probably clip it onto this first section, um, the winding of the toroid, etc., of the ballon, and then connecting it all together and installing it at, uh, at my QTH. Um Alright, so I'm just going to drill these, put these into it, and then this one is ready um, to be wound. And that'll be the next part of the video. Alright, catch you in a bit. Bye bye for now. Hey everybody, I'm back. Well, first of all, apologies because um, I never videoed the um, <laughs> when I was making the ballon. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put a few photos um, somewhere in this video um, of the ballon that I made. Um, yeah, my mistake. Anyway, today I'm creating the um, actual the coil trap for the delta loop. And um, what I've done is I've cut a piece of farmer down. That's just 40mm waste pipe. Put it to, um, uh, what is it, 3 inch, I think, and 
I'll just set this little thing off outside so I can so it can help me when I'm coiling it because it is a pain in the backside to be honest. So hopefully this is going to help me. I'm going to put a few holes. Um, but I'm just going to put one hole in to start with at this side. And that will hold the first section and then I can tape it underneath. And that allows me then to, to wrap it around. <coughs> so we'll see how we go on with that. Um, I'm going to be putting 43 turns on. Um, of this one mil, um, this one mil wire, and um, that should give me the inductance that I'm looking for of uh, around about 60 micro henrys, um, well, well, 57 micro henrys ideally. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I'll keep pausing it so I can do it. I can't film um, and do this at the same time. So I'll catch you in a bit. Now, as you can see, <clears throat> I've started coiling it up. I'm not the best. Um, there must be an easier way, by the way, of doing this, but um, I'm probably not the best in the world of, making, of doing the coils, but uh, this is the progress so far. I'll see you in a bit. Right, I've just come back indoors. So that's the coil wound. Um, I'm now just going to um, test it for the inductance, but I'm going to have to take this, um, this coating off so that I can get a good connection. Um, yeah, it's not looking bad at all. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Right, I've, um, I've finished with the coil now. And I've got it on the tester, and it's pretty much cock on. Um, it's about 56.3 is the best I can get it. I was aiming for 56. Um, 56.5, I think. Um, but that is pretty much spot on. So that's the coil all around, and now I'm going to be drilling through the former. Um, and attaching um, the antenna connectors to this and this coil will also connect on the inside of the former to that and then what I will be doing is wrapping it um, I don't have any heat shrink um, not 40 mil um, so I'm going to use some um, uh, some of that other stuff I forgot what the bloody call it now expensive tape so I'm gonna be putting that on there um, but yeah it's all good to go oh by the way I had to knock off um, two coils so I think I've finished up with 50 uh, 51 coils um, so I've done that good a job it's um <laughs> it's perfect right that's me done I'll uh, I'll catch you in a bit when I've uh, put the ends on and we'll have a look at it from there. Right, I'm back. I've finished, uh, I've finished it now, the coil. So the windings are correct and we've got it all connected inside and soldered to these posts. This is where the antenna is going to mount to. Now I want to show you um, the inductance. I'm trying this with one hand, it's a bit ridiculous. So let me just pause that and get the things on. Right, so I've now got it connected. So let's have a look and see where we are. Oh, turn on. Fifty-six point nine point eight, and the ideal uh, number that I was after was fifty-six point seven. Um, that's the antenna there. 
Um, so I was looking for 56.7 micro Henry's. Um, this is based on an equilateral 8.5 meters each side delta loop. Um, the one in the picture is for a multi band, um, but I've gone for a two to one balance. I'm keeping it as a mono bander. Um, and now it's settled down. There you go. 56. Can you see that? 56.6 micro N res. 56.7. So I'm going to put some. Um, not each ring because I ain't got any. I'm going to put some of that tape all around it. That. Um, I can never remember the net. Amalgamating tape, is it? Something like that. That's going round it and that'll cover it all up. And that is virtually finished. Right. So hopefully the next you'll see is me um putting the antenna together. Oh by the way, the ballon. Um because I robbed a UK antennas box. Um and that's all coiled in there now, wound for a two to one. As I said, I'll try and get some photos on here um, of me actually making it. Completely forgot about filming it. So uh, hopefully the next time you see me, I'll be um, I'll be erecting the antenna and uh, testing it. So I'll see you in a bit. Ciao for now. Right, I've cut the cables, the uh, coax, or the antenna wire, should I say. To size, I fastened this one to the ballon. Uh, I just need to fasten the other one to the ballon now. This is the coil, all wrapped and waterproofed. These are temporary uh, because I don't want to be soldering clips on at this stage because I might have to adjust the SWR. Um, and obviously, this end goes to the other end of the ballon so that's all done so now I'm going to try and erect it and see how we get on bye for now right it's getting too dark I've got to call it a day it's up well no it's not up it's I've got to mess about and get it in its perfect position and mount it properly um, but there's the delta loop you can't see the bottom one because it's above the shed um, but once I get that set, so you can see the coil there halfway down that last leg, perfect position. Um, right, so even though it's not in its proper position, I'm going to show you the um, SWR, the traps, and the um, sorry, the coil the ballon are working perfect I'll show you the uh, SWR as it is right so the band's not in great shape at the minute but um, that's what I'm getting and uh, I'll show you the SWR now as I say I've got a bit of tweaking to do and everything but um, So right down below, um, around about the data, it gets even better right up to 200. It's just a little bit long, it needs shortening a little bit. But um, as you can see the SWR is perfect so the coil and everything's working spot on. better sorry about the crap camera work I'll turn that down uh, in terms of noise obviously it's not where it needs to be exactly yet why is it doing that that's better in terms of noise it's not but it's not my noise down by an S point already and I've got to uh, adjust it and move it about so once it's in its permanent position I'll um I'll give I'll give you a proper report and uh what am I doing? 
and let you know how we're getting on with it in terms of um, operation. But it's up and it's working, and um, I'm quite I'm quite happy that it's working because I built it myself, obviously. But like I say, I'll give you a full um, operation report, TX and receive it in comparison to the um, bazooka that I uh, had up or have as well. All right, guys, well, I'll catch you in a bit. Um, oh, I don't know if I'm going to tag that onto the end of this. I'll make a separate video, but um, it's definitely working as it should do. Happy days. Right, I'll catch you later, guys. 73 for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.